Hi, and welcome to Ember in Action series, episode 7, Edit Books. In this episode, we'll implement Edit in Books functionality by reusing the component that we created earlier. But first, let's fix some issues that we have now after update. So, let's go to Terminal and run Ember server. And here we see I have the missing semicolon error, so let's go to new.js file and let's fix it, like this. If you go back to terminal, we're good. Another thing that we need to fix is using find method on an Ember data. Ember data now uses find all to fetch the collection and find record to fetch the particular record. So we have two places. First one is route book.js where we find one specific book. So instead of this find, we use find record. And the second one is route books, where we find all books, so we need to use find all. Okay, that should do it. So here, in this book details thing, let's add edit book button. So for that, let's open book details, HBS file, and inside of here, let's define new div with link to books, and we call it edit route, and we provide book object to it. Of course, we need to have class, button, button, success, and we name it edit book. And don't forget to close link too. So now we need to define this edit route. So we go to router, and inside of here, we define this route, edit. And we need to provide path, which is book ID slash edit, like this. So we have our button, we have our route, now we need to have template. So let's create one in application templates, books, we create template edit.hbs. And here we're going to reuse the component that we created before. We'll reuse our book form. And if you remember, it takes two parameters, book itself and then action. And instead of create book action, this time we provide update book action. Okay, so now we need to create this edit route. So we go to app, routes, books, edit.js. And here let's define our route. So as usual, we define model hook with params. Inside of it, we return this.store find record book with params book ID. And now here we set book to this model on the controller. After that, let's define actions. And, and we need to define this update book action here. So let's do this, update book. There's gonna be a function, which as you can remember, takes book. Let's define var this equals this. And let's call save method on this book ember data object. So let's go to browser, click on edit book, and you can see that the form is populated with the data of this book. And now when I click on add book, we have an error, nothing handled the action update book. Actions, okay, let's try it again. Add book, and now we have another error. We're making patch request to the server, that's good, with all data that we need, in JSON API format with attributes and all this stuff. But of course, we do not have patch method in our mock server. So let's go to mock books file. And instead of this put, we'll use patch. And here as well, we use as previously data as JSON API. First of all, type as books, ID as book ID, and attributes as book adders. So let's define them. The book adders equal to re request body data attributes and book ID is actually request params param ID, which is this one. So now we need to find the book with this ID in our array and change attributes on it. 
We'll do it quick and dirty style, so we'll have books for each function, and we have item here. And then we check if item.id equals to parseInt. Remember that we get all data from the request in string type, so we parse it to int book ID. So if they are equal, then we make item title equals book errors title. And the same thing we do with description and author. So let's go back to browser and let's try to change this one floor of cuckoo's nest to one can. So now if we reload the page, it's still one, okay, by can. Excellent, so it works. So now we need to redirect back to the book page as we did previously. We do it in edit router right here. As usual, safe returns promise. So when this promise fulfills, we want to use this transition to books book for this specific book. Go back and let's try it out again. So edit book, click on add book, and we redirect it back to this book. Excellent, it works. So another thing that we might want to change is when we click on this edit book, we'll have add book instead of update book. So it should be cool if we can, you know, change this label on this button. So for that, let's open bookform.js file, and inside of here, we define a property and we call it button label and it will return update book or add book depending on the book that we have in this component. So we return this get book. So if this get book has an ID, then we return update book label. Otherwise, we return add book. So now in book form.hbs file, we need to replace this thing with button label. So now if we go back to browser, we have an error. Oh, of course, I said that we need property, so let's define it as a property. And let's try it again. So now as you can see, when we edit in book, we have update book, but when we go to add new book, we'll have add book. If you like this episode, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and share it with your friends, or follow me on Twitter. If you want to ask any question or simply say hello, go to my blog, ramzalatik.net. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.